So hello students, so you can see the question, what you have is that if 3 cot theta equals to 4, find the value of 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta divided by 5 sin theta plus 3 cos theta. Okay, so already I have showed you in my previous video what I have, this type of sum we can sum, we can solve in a two different way. Okay, but what happened in this question is that solution, solution what they are given, given. 3 cot of theta equals to 4 okay so they are given us this so what can I write this is this cot theta cot theta formula we know that um, cot theta is your cos theta by sin theta so you have to know this all formula without knowing this formula you can do okay so since already I had done in my first class since we know since we know that cot theta formula cot theta formula is your cos theta by sin theta is a reciprocal of tan theta yeah so what we can do here is that just i am changing the place cos theta 4 will come down okay and this sin theta will go up and this 3 will come down okay so what i have done is that just replacing the place see sin theta goes up 4 comes down okay and this 3 will come down down nothing means there is always 1 so 3 1 3 okay hope you are clear with this so already we have done now you can see here why i am doing using this method is that because i have because cot is your cos and sine and if you'll see the question we have sine and cos for that reason okay so that means directly i can take this as k what can i do let so what can i write now therefore you can see me cos theta equals to this 4 and k so it will be 4 k okay so this method is the easiest method sin theta sin theta equals to 3 into k 3k but this is applicable only when this 2 and this side is has to be matched okay so if it will not be then you can't use this method now what we can do is that now we will find the value of this so what they are given therefore 5 sin theta so i am putting the value here only okay so therefore i okay, will write 5 sin theta minus 3 cos of theta divided by what can i do 5 sin theta plus 3 cos of theta now well, simple i'll put the value 5 what is the value of sin theta sin theta is 3k minus 3 cos theta is your 4k divided by 5 into again sin theta is your 3k plus 3 into cos theta is my 4k Okay, now just multiply 5 3 is a 15 k minus 3 4 is a 12 k divided by 5 3 is a 15 k plus 3 4 is a 12 k okay so what i'll get 15 minus 12 is your 3 k and 15 plus 12 is your 27 k now you can see it will get cancelled kk got cancelled and this will be 3 1 are 3 3 9 is a 27 so what i got finally 1 by 9 so this is my answer hope you are clear with this so you can try with the another method also so already i have showed you in my previous video you can go through that just i'll do a hint i'll give you the hint i think so as you know that how you can do another way is that what they are given is that 3 cot of theta equals to 4 okay so this i can write cot theta equals to 4 by 3 if you have gone through with my video nicely, I will be perfect with this also. Okay, cot theta. Cot theta is reciprocal of tan, so tan permanently black. The reciprocal I am writing low away, so it will be 4 by 3. Okay, so what can I do now? Therefore, what it will take? B is equal to B is equal to 4k, P is equal to 3k, and H is my question mark. So now what I have to use by Pythagoras theorem. Yeah, by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem I have to find the value of h so h square equals to what is the formula p square plus b square now you will find the value of h okay so you will first you will find the value of h then after that you will put the formula okay cos is your curly brown here some sine theta is here some people have okay I'll show you this okay so this will be your h 
square equals to p is how much? p is my 3k square, 3k whole square plus b, b is my how much? 4k, so that means it will be 4k whole square. So this will be h equals to this square when you go that it will be on root. So 9, 3 square is 9, 9k square plus 4 4 is here 16k square. Okay, so this I can write. Oh, h when you go that it will be on the root. So this will be your this will be your 25k square. So as you know, 25 is your 5 and k square is your k. Okay, so I got what I got. So the value of h I got 5k. Okay, now simple you will find the value of cos theta. So cos theta is your curly brown hair. So it will come in fraction. So you can try that. Okay, hope you are clear with this. So please go through my previous video. You will be perfect with this. Okay, so I got the value of h. Now you will find the value of cos theta. Then you will find the value of sin theta. Then you will put the values. Then you will get the answer. Okay, so then let's solve another question. So here we have another question. So what it says that prove the following. Prove the following means you have to prove left hand side equals to right hand side. Okay. So already I have told you trigonometry is all about the formula. You have to know the formula. Without knowing formula you can't do a single step also. Now so left hand side I am going to the left hand side. So what you have in left hand side is a cos theta into tan theta. Now see if you don't know the formula you can't do next step. So as you know formula is your cos theta as I know the formula for tan theta tan theta is your sin theta by cos theta this is the formula for tan theta so now this cos theta cos theta get cancelled so what I got finally you can see only sin theta is there so sin theta is it in RHS yes so it's in RHS so what I'll do simple hence proved but what happened is that because since you have to know this formula so always try to write the formula at the side because it will be helpful it will help you to memorize the formula okay so tan theta formula is sin theta by cos theta so simple I use this formula okay so now let's solve another one so you can see here we have an, another question so you can see what they are given is that sin square theta by cos theta plus cos theta equals to 1 by cos theta okay so obviously what you have to do left hand side so left hand side I am taking this question only okay so now whenever there is fraction so don't nothing is there is always one okay so whenever there is a fraction we have to do the LCM so LCM of cos theta and one obviously it will be what will be it will be your cos theta okay so cos theta you will divide to this cos theta cos theta get cancelled so how much I'll get one so one into sin square theta is your sin square theta plus now you'll divide one to this so one if i'll divide to this it i'll get cos theta only so cos theta into cos theta what will be cos square theta okay so this is my first step now already i have told you that please go through with the formula very nicely okay so i have said you that just write a formula and paste on the wall just look for one week okay morning evening you'll be perfect with the formula now sin square theta plus cos square theta already i had given you this this the value is 1 so 1 by cos theta so if you'll see here right hand side I have 1 by cos theta so equals to right hand side so what you'll write hence proof okay so it's better if you'll write the formula at the side since which formula we used sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 so this formula I have used this okay so now hope you active with this now let's solve another question this is your square okay so here you can see prove the following what you have sin a plus cos a whole square plus sin a minus cos a whole square equals to 2 okay so obviously this is left hand side equals right hand side so solution so I am taking left hand side this question only I am taking okay so if you will see nicely here what you have is that this is your sin a plus cos a that means this is a this is my b okay so this is my a this is my b so if you'll see what is the formula a plus b whole square so you know the formula for a plus b whole square what is the formula for a plus b whole square it's better you can write here a plus b whole square what is the formula formula says a square plus b square plus 2ab okay 
or you can write this as or you can write this as a square plus 2ab plus b square okay it's here same thing okay just i have written this why i have written this you will know here why i am using this formula a minus b whole square what is the formula a square plus b square this side it will be minus 2ab okay hope so you are clear with this now simple i'll put this formula you can see a plus b whole square so what is the formula a square so a square is your sin square a plus then what you have b b is my cos so cos square a okay so plus 2ab 2a is my, my sin a and b is my cos a okay got it so why i am writing this way is that because sin square a plus cos square for a formula is there so i am writing them together okay because i can write the value sin square plus cos square a is what is the formula it's here one so instead of theta we have a okay so plus similarly what you have here is minus so minus means it will be same simple the side will be minus so what is the formula a square so a is my sin square a plus b square is my cos square a then what you have minus 2ab 2ab means sin a and cos a okay it looks difficult yes yeah? but it's very easier yeah? so now you can see plus 2 cos a sin a minus 2 sin cos sin a it get cancelled now as you know that formula the value here yeah? the value for sin square a plus cos square a what is the value 1 and what is the value for this it's your 1 so 1 plus 1 what i'll get 2 so equals to my right hand side and what you'll write since it's proved that so hence proved okay hope so you are clear with this so as you what you use the value of this two is your one and the value of this two is your one so you can write at the side so what is the value sine square a plus cos square a equals to one so since the sine square a plus cos square a value is one so finally i got the answer so it's easy only but what happen is that you have to know formula if you know if you not know this formula you can do this step if you know this formula you can't do this step okay so what happened is that mathematics is all about formulas okay and it's all about practice so you have to know the formulas and i think so you have done this formulas in class 7 okay so what happened is that mathematics they feel difficult because they forget everything what they have done in class 7 class 6 in mathematics what happened is that all it's required okay from 6 also 7 also okay so now let's solve another question so here you can see the question it's a proof the following cot square a minus 1 by sin square a plus 1 equals to 0 okay so obviously this is a left hand side equals to right hand side so left hand side so i'm taking this on the left hand side okay now what happened is that if you know the formula what you can do in a many different way okay but i'll show you in a in a simple way because i know the formula so simple what can i do is that this is your cot square a minus this is your sine square a so as we have done already what we have done is that the formula for this as we know that sine a sine theta is the reciprocal of 1 by cosec theta that is what can write this as cosec theta equals to 1 by sine theta so you can see here what you have 1 by sin a so what can i write this as cosec cosec square a why i'm writing square because this side is square okay now plus 1 so 1 also i know the formula so already we have done this formula cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 this is the formula okay so here you can see i am using three formulas are there so instead of theta I'll use a because it's in a okay instead of theta what I'll use a why I'm using a because this side is a okay so this I can write cosec square a and what will be this this minus cot square a okay so what will be now you can see one is plus one is minus get cancelled the side is minus the side is plus it get cancelled so what I got finally equals to zero so this is my right hand side hence proof okay this question carries three marks only and it's important only but what happens that many students what they do is that they change this cot cot i can write cos by sign okay then they'll do lcm then after that they'll put the values so it will be very long okay so what i have done here very simple just 
I use the formula so you have to know the formula trigonometry is very easy but you have to before doing that you have to be perfect with the formula okay now let's solve another question so here you can see one of the very important question and this will be the last question from this chapter okay so after this we'll do another chapter is your trigonometrical ratio of standard angles so till then please be perfect with the formulas and all okay so now you can see what we can do here is this so they had given us so let's start given so what they had given x equals to a cos of theta plus b sin theta okay so they had given us this now next what they are given y also they had given us a sin of theta in y it's minus b cos of theta okay if you'll see here what do you have to prove is that left hand side equals to right hand side that means x square plus y square equals to i have to prove a square plus b square so i can write according to equation what they are given left hand side i am taking left hand side so what do you have in the left hand side is your x square plus y square okay so this is in my left hand side so what is the value of x so i am putting the value of x x is my a cos of theta plus b sine of theta this is the value of x but since there is square so i have write square plus now you can see y square so what will be this a sine of theta minus b cos of theta so this will be your whole square okay so as you know the formula for this so what is the formula for this a square plus so what is the formula it's here okay i'll write the formula it will be helpful for you so what is the formula for this a plus b whole square what is the formula a square plus b square plus 2ab just only we have done here so a minus b whole square formula is a square plus b square simple this side it will be minus 2ab so now if i'll use the formula so this will be your a cos of theta so this whole thing is my a so a square this whole thing is my this whole thing is my a this whole thing is my b this whole thing is my a and this whole thing is my b okay so a square next is your plus b square b square is b sine of theta whole square plus 2ab 2ab is a cos of theta a and b is my b sine of theta plus similarly this side also what will be this a sine of theta actually this you can write directly also a square cos square theta okay but i am showing you this way otherwise you will get confused so b is my b cos of theta whole square then what do you have its formula is minus so minus 2 what will be a b is your a sine theta then what do you have b cos theta okay so b cos of theta so if you'll see here this is minus and this side is plus so it will get cancelled now next step what what can i do so this i can write a square cos square theta plus because this square belongs to this both okay i think you have done in indices yeah so this will be your b square this will be your sine square theta plus similarly this will be a square sine square theta plus this side it will be b square cos square theta okay so hope you are clear with till here now if you will see here this side is a square cos square theta and this side is a square sin square theta so what i'll do i'll keep them together okay so a square i'm showing you in a longer way so that you'll understand in a single watch okay so or directly we can take common also a square so plus so b b i'm keep, keeping it them together so b square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta you can jump this step also okay so now what i am doing is there you can see the side is a square the side is also a square so i'll take both common so if i'll take common a square this will be your cos square theta plus sin square theta okay so in this side also you can see if you can see b square and b square the same so i can take common so b square so what will be this sin square theta plus cos square theta okay you can jump from directly this to this okay so this a square so as you know the formula for this what is the value it's 1 into 1 plus b square the value of this is your 1 okay so we know the formula since we know the formula what is the formula 
sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 this is your formula so what I got so a square into 1 is your a square plus b square into 1 is your b square so can you see the answer yeah so equals to RHS so what you write two line and your hence proved okay hope so you are clear so if you have any doubt okay so please feel free to comment us in the comment box so please to support me please like share and subscribe to my channel and as you know it's free of cost okay so see you next time